Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today at Kay Warner Studio. I am part of the Busy Beaver Canada Day blog hop that is being brought to you by Scrap and Stamp to feature the Busy Beaver Taylor Expression Stamp and Die Combo. Now I had made a card so that I could show you what the card that I'm making that I was going to make in this video was going to look like and I don't know what happened to the footage so I now have two of these cards and um, not enough of certain sheets of paper to complete a third go of it so I'm just going to show you this and run through it so this little thing the beaver comes up out of the wood pile or the bunch of branches and he slides up with the slider it has pull here at the flap and then this one here does the same thing. Pulls up from the flap. Well, he goes up a little bit higher than the other one. I made an adjustment in where I put the slider. Or I cut the slider die out. So, I'll just show you how I made this. And um, if you want me to make a different one in a different color scheme, simply put it in the comments below on this video on YouTube. If you want to win one of the $50 gift certificates that Scrap and Stamp is offering as part of the prize bundle for this particular blog hop, uh, to enter you need to leave a comment on my website. And I will put the links below on this video here on YouTube. I'll also link to the supplies that were used um, for your convenience. So thank you so much and let's get on with it. So this is the Tailored Expression Busy Beaver Stamp and Die Combo. Uh, it comes, this is a nice plastic sheeting so the red rubber stamps cling right to it. As you can see the stamp and the dies are much larger than the outside. So I have some masks here. So here is the branch die and here is the beaver die. That's what I used to cut out. And you can see they, that's how they are here, but on the outside they're quite a bit smaller. So that's really what I wanted to show you, as well as the branch. There it is on the outside. Here it is an actual. I love these stamps. They're just really nice impressions and they're great. So I did a little bit of stamp surgery on mine. In that, this is the original one. It pulls up here. I um, put damn you're awesome on the inside and I stamped the same thing on this one too. Damn. Damn you're awesome. Oh here we go. And so how I did that, these are no problem at all uh, to do that, is I just cut out the dam and then um nawsome, and then your and these things they fit together really nice on uh, they line up perfectly and then when you want to put them back they just go right back into place and they stamp as if they weren't cut um, the stamp was done with them cut and they're nice and straight so anyway I just wanted to show you that I mean <laughs> They probably don't want you to cut them, but I found that you can make many more sayings than what's on here. It says, would you be mine? Hope it's an awesome. Damn, sorry I missed your birthday and heard it's your birthday, A. Eh? And so this A is on this section on the inside of this little flag. And I just thought that um, it makes more use of these wonderful stamps. If you just kind of change them up a little bit. So that's that. Then the next um, stamp set I used was this Lawn Fawn. Um, it's called Lawn Fawn Push Here and it's this assortment. It also has matching dies. I didn't have the use, need to use those so I didn't. So that's that stamp set and then we'll get into the dies. So the dies that I used was this slide on, also a lawn fawn, and this was the particular die I used. 
And then the grass was made out of this grass border die, also a lawn fawn die. The next lawn fawn was this um, stitch cloud backdrop in portrait, and it just cuts out a stitching and leaves the clouds inside of the cardstock. And then this particular is uh, MFTs, my favorite things, Blueprint 31, and I use these two dies here. They have nice stitching and rounded corners. And then the papers. The papers, this here is the grass. It's Chanteuse with a light green. And it's called Doodlebug Design Puppy Love. And I put my leftovers right inside. This is how I store my 6x6. Six six. Just put the leftover paper in the back. And then it's not a problem when I want to pull it out. The next one I used is Doodlebug Craft in Color and it's beautiful paper and I use this wood grain here. I don't have any of that left to do the rest of the card and I also don't have any of this one left. The dots and stripes, the red and white stripe here on the corner. And then finally it's Happy Summer by Echo Park and it is this cloud paper and I just cut the clouds out and that I do have some left. So like I say if you'd be interested in me pardon the noise and you're doing the card slightly different please leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to do just that. And so I have some of this green which I'm going to put in here because I like to keep it all because I know I will use it. Okay, so I'm going to put those away. Uh, the next thing I used was um, your next stamp, Black Olive Ink, and it is uh, Copic friendly. It's wonderful ink. It's refillable. Nouveau Relux Adhesive. I also used the Nouveau Pen, the Craft Knife, the Pick, and the Craft Knife and uh, a half inch punch, EQ Success, and a corner chomper, and some foam tape, and you know that's about it. I had some post-it note tape, and also this here to um, neutralize the tape on the side of the foam tape. So that's about it. So sorry for losing my footage. I can't begin to tell you where it is. But thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for two $50 gift certificates for scrapandstamp.ca. And if you check out my kwarnerstudio.com, that's where you can put a comment as well as the other people that are in the blog hop. The winner winners will be drove driven. The winners will be drawn randomly, and that will be on Monday, July the fourth, third. Let's see, so if <laughs> I can't tell you what it is because I don't pay attention to the date, I know it's awful. So while I'm looking this up, uh, just to let you know that I wish you all a cap happy Canada Day and our American friends a happy 4th of July when the 4th of July rolls around. I found that these scissors were a great thing to have, these Tim Holtz tonic little snips as well as the tonic scissors. So Monday is going to be, where am I at now? The 3rd. So on the 3rd of July is when they randomly draw the winners. And oh yes, and I forgot I used this little thing here, the Spellbinders Magnetic. So if you would like to check back to see who the winners are, at Scrap and Stamp, and please leave a comment on this video. Um, but they do not count towards the random drawing for the $50 gift certificate, as well as this stamps and die set, as well as a Maple Leaf die. So thank you so much for joining me and taking the very the time out of your very busy days, and have yourself a wonderful Canada Day break with you and your family. 
And if you'd be interested in winning one of these cards, I will pick a name from the comments in my YouTube videos, my YouTube video for this video, and send it off to you. Bye-bye.